My name is Mohit. I'm from Mumbai, India. My life story is like a movie. I am the owner of a strong nurse but an emotional boy. This is from 6 to 7 years ago. As you all know, Facebook was a big craze at that time. We used to ask each other, do you use Facebook? How many friends do you have? Do you post or not? Etc. I also made a Facebook account on the insistence of friends. Everything was going well. Posting, joining groups, harassing friends, writing poetry, sending ha 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 emoji on friends post. One day I saw the request list and there was a girl's friend request in it. At that time the boys used to make fake IDs and harass their friends. I thought it would be a fake ID. Then I saw two or three posts and thought what, what's wrong with accepting the request. Then we started commenting on each other's post. Gradually it reached the message. I like talking to her whenever I felt sad. I used to talk to her. I was eagerly waiting for her message. At once I started to feel good about everything and started to love everyone. Always smiling when someone asked the reason for smiling, I would avoid it. You understand that I fell in love. Maybe she also fell in love with me or it is one-sided. However, I did not want to fall in love. I was a studious boy. I was always the first position in the class. I was considered among the worthy boys in the class. That's why I didn't want to fall in love yet. This was my thought. Expressed love. Everything was going on like this. One day I was sitting on a chair in the balcony and thinking, if you can keep her with you for the whole life, then only propose her, otherwise no. Then I proposed to her. We didn't meet at all. We only used to send videos, photos and talk on the phone. I considered her every problem as my own. I liked her words very much. I had to believe her. To make people laugh and put a smile on their face was her goal. I forgot to tell you her name. Her name was Pooja. Time passed like this. My exam was near. One day I was studying and then I got a message saying, I am admitted to the hospital. At that time, all my attention was focused on exams. I didn't have time to scratch my head. Our talk was limited to only two or three messages. I thought it would be a normal illness and it would be a cure soon. I typed message, okay, take good care of yourself. Follow the doctor's instructions, you will get well soon. See you after the exams are over. Her reply came, if there is life, there will Definitely be a meeting, just helping people, making them laugh, bringing a smile on their faces. I type the message, don't talk like crazy. You have a lot to do now. Her message came, if I die, don't cry at all, promise me. I promised while laughing. This was the last thing I said to her. One day her message came, Pooja is no longer in this world. After the message, darkness started to cover my eyes. If I didn't take the support of wall, I was true, I was sure to fall. I remembered his last words, if I die, don't cry at all, promise me.
But today on her first anniversary, tears came out of my eyes, which were hiding inside for a year. Today I cried openly and lightened the burden of my heart. After that, three more girls proposed to me. But I was thinking, if not her, then there is no one. I had decided not to get married. Everyone in the house insisted a lot, but my refusal didn't turn into a confession. Then after a year, then after a few years, I joined WhatsApp and my friend added me to a group. I make everyone laugh. Everyone thinks I'm crazy. I don't care. People say what people say. I'm not more free than one girl and call everyone sister. But with all precautions, I made a girlfriend. I ignored her that if you do not make friends on social media, these friendships are not sustainable. But she used to message me regularly. At night, he, she would get a good night message. When she woke up, a good morning message would come. Every time I opened my mobile, five or six messages would come from her. But I kept ignoring her. One day my friend said, Dude, how long are you going to mourn your first love? You can spend your whole life in sorrow for her. If not for yourself, at least for your parents. Because parents... Years of love is important or one year of love on Facebook. You are wise. My friend's words make me think. Gradually, I started talking to her. Her words were very sweet and innocent. I would remember Pooja uncontrollably. I thought I would propose to her and get married. But this time was not right. Her engagement was broken and she was in shock. I always wanted to make her happy. After a long time, I laughed, I laughed heartily. And it was only because of her. She used to be very busy due to her job. But she used to take time to talk to me. One day I asked to meet her. She said, okay, I go to the office at 9 o'clock. She told me about the bus stop where, from where she used to go to office. I saw her for the first time and I liked her very much. She was very happy that day. They say that there are very few moments of happiness in person's life. And this happiness also lasted for a few uh, for a few days. Then her messages stopped coming. Even on calls, she did not talk. The number was disconnected. One day, I received a call from her. I eagerly asked, "They speak. They are." Some fam there are some family issues. I was not satisfied with her answer. So I forced her. She answered, I'm engaged. The boy is abroad. I was stunned to hear what she said. Nothing was said to me for some time. Then I said, but I have told my parents about you. They want to meet your parents. There is only a friendship relationship between us. I don't want her. I don't want any other relationship to be established. I considered you only a good friend. So I used to share my heart with you. You don't know what you understand. After saying this, she hung up. She hung up the phone. Her Phone never came again. I got everything in life, house, car, 
money, respect, fame, good family, good friends, but one thing I didn't get and that is true love. If she didn't want to marry me, why did she come close to me? Why did she message me again and again? Why did she support my broken heart? I was so good if Pooja was alive. We would have been living happily. But now I have decided that wherever my parents want to marry me, I will say yes. I have faith in my parents. I will only regret that I never got true love.